Hi everybody, thanks for checking out wafflemakershub.com. Today we are going to be reviewing the Oster Waffle Maker. It has um, a natural ceramic non-stick coating and the waffle maker itself is red and has a white ceramic plate. So we're going to see how this makes our waffle recipe. We'll be using our perfect waffle recipe that is on our website. So you can check that out too. That's always a good recipe to use no matter what machine you have. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see how this machine works. Okay, so I have already unpacked and plugged in the Oster waffle maker. So as you can see, it is red, as I mentioned, and it does have these white ceramic plates, which makes it have a little different look than most waffle makers. Looks kind of cool. So it does have a collapsible handle, which makes for easier storage. So if you're looking for a smaller machine or you're short on space, that can be a great feature for you. So we're just going to snap the handle right back out there. It has a power light on top and also a green indicator light, which tells us when the waffle maker plates are hot. Right now it is on, but I'm going to turn the heat up on the dial so that our waffles might come out a little bit crispier. Right now it's set to minimum, so I'm just going to give that a turn. The light went off, and I'll just set it right out about medium. So we're just going to wait for the light to go back on before we put our batter in. But while we're doing that, we'll keep taking a look. So. It looks as though when I shut the machine, it didn't close all the way. That's something I noticed when I took it out of the box. You really gotta push this handle down for it to lock into place. So now the machine is closed. We'll take a look at the other side. So we just flip it over. And there is also an indicator light on this side that will tell us later when the waffles are done. The handbook says that it takes about five to eight minutes for the waffles to cook. So I'm gonna flip that back over for now. This machine also does have a drip tray underneath, so it's just a circle platter. Comes out pretty easily. There it is. So that'll help if any batter drips over, and it'll make for an easier cleanup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that light to come on, and then we'll pour our batter in. The directions didn't say anything about how much batter to use, so I'm gonna try about three quarters of a cup, which is about average for a waffle maker. Okay, so the indicator light turned green, which means that our waffle maker is ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Here's those white ceramic plates. And I'm going to pour about three quarters of a cup of batter in and see if that's enough. Again, this recipe is great no matter what waffle maker you have, and it's on our website, so I would give it a look. Okay, so that about filled it. That was about three quarters, maybe a whole cup of waffle batter. I'm going to close it and again you push it down really hard and flip it over. That's interesting, the green light is already still on, which is supposed to indicate when the waffles are ready, but we know we just poured the batter in, so they must not be ready just yet. So I'm going to let those waffles cook for a few minutes and then we'll take a look again. Just wanted to tune back in here while our waffles are cooking. The green light did go off, it took about 30 seconds before the light turned off which means that the waffles are still cooking. So maybe there was just a slight delay with that light. Okay, so our green light did go back on, which indicates that our waffles are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the waffle maker over and open it up. And inside are some beautiful looking waffles. The top did come off really clean, no batter stuck. And it looks like three quarters of a cup of batter is perfect. The inside of the squares is golden and the rest is a little bit brown. This looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and take the waffles out and see how they taste. So it looks like this waffle maker did make some perfect looking waffles. They are crispy yet fluffy and the batter came off really clean from the waffle maker itself. These ceramic plates look like they're doing their job. So to recap, this machine seems to work really well. The red color is pretty cool and the ceramic plates on the inside stayed really clean while we made our waffles and made some perfectly golden brown looking waffles. It has a nice easy flip to it. The one downside was you do have to push that handle a little but that's a pretty minor thing. And we like that it folds up for storage and the nice drip tray is easy to clean. So overall, this is a great little waffle maker. You can check out some more reviews at our website on wafflemakershub.com and also find some great recipes for waffles